Yes guys, welcome back to my channel. So, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take this phone out again, but this time I'm gonna shoot at night. The last video I did, I did it in the daytime and I think I got some really, really cool shots. Um, I'm actually loving the camera on this, but night is a different subject in, the, in itself. Night, everything changes. So I'm gonna take this out at night. I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, the ugly, show you what works, show you what doesn't work. First thing first, I need you guys to do a few things for me. I need you guys to like this video. I need you guys to subscribe to this channel and to hit the bell notification. And I need you guys to share this with any friend, family, any photographers, anyone interested in getting an iPhone um, that does photography as well. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a quick screen record and I'm gonna show you what my settings were. So, I'm in the camera now, I have the lens in front of me. If you look to the top right hand side, you see it say RAW. That is, because I can that allowed me to shoot in RAW, which was really, really cool. Um, so I, the edit was easier. Also, if you look to the top left hand side, um, where it says one second, that's night mode. That is the key, I believe, to shooting at night with an iPhone. So I've clicked that night mode. If you click it, you can, basically it allows you to open the shutter for longer. So, it's that icon there, that's just with the night mode off, that's where it will take a picture straight. Auto is when it automatically opens it for however long you want it. And then max is the maximum amount of time it thinks you should have it open for. I think the maximum time I went to was 9 seconds, but the phone controls that itself. So when I was shooting at night, I had it on max. Um, check this video out guys, check out the pictures, let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the other side. Peace! Right, like the tide is very high. But we're gonna get some shots from here. Hope you guys can see my settings on my phone. If not, just drop a comment and then I'll put my settings. So I'm gonna shoot for one second. There's a wide angle view. Yeah, I'm loving that. I'll do a couple landscape. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and take some shots right from the edge, so literally right here. If you're ever looking for the spot, see Shad Thames through this tunnel here. And then along through there. So guys, I'm on Tower Bridge and I want to get some shots from here. Like the Shard up there. Same settings. Shot there. Really love that actually. a couple shots of the guy walking down the stairs and I actually really love that. I wish I took it on the wide angled lens now. So guys, um, you can see Tower Bridge just there. It looks really, really nice. I'm gonna get some shots of it, but from further down. So I'll take you guys down. Wow, I've never seen that boat before. I might actually get some shots of that instead. 
see how the um, iPhone Pro 13 works on that boat. So yeah, this is the close-up of the boat. I'm gonna try and get some shots here. Try and get the reflections, see if I can um, capture this with the iPhone. It's really, really cool. So literally I'm at Tower Bridge. It's just there, it looks really, really nice. But I've never seen this boat here before, so I'm gonna try and get some shots here of this boat. So yeah guys, I wanna capture this shot. I'm actually using a stand because you can like open up the shot for longer. So I'm gonna use the stand. As you can see, it's on four seconds. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but it's gonna shoot for four seconds raw. Let's do this. Hold still, it says. Let's have a look at it here. All right, I'm gonna do that again, because this, this um, stand is shaking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it for a timer, three seconds, and shoot it. So time is on for three seconds. Let's have a look at that. It looks really, really nice. Can't wait to edit that. The sky looks really nice too. In the shot anyway, I don't know if you can see it in the video camera. But yeah, love it. So guys, I hope you can hear me, but a bit of a bonus. The bridge is actually opening. So I'm gonna try and get some shots of the bridge open. I'm going to set my camera up there, so you guys can see. So you can see it's going to shoot for a maximum of three seconds. We're going to be shooting in raw. It's really busy around here, so I hope you guys can hear me. But the bridge is opening, so we're going to take some a few shots of different lengths. I've actually set the timer as well. That's one shot. I kind of wish I bought my, um, my, my normal camera. There we go. I hope you guys can see it. I'm gonna change the length now. So that's the wide angle lens. And then we're gonna do like the zoom, the zoom lens. So there's the zoom lens. Hopefully I can angle this correctly and it's closing already so quick stop off at the circus we'll take a couple shots with the iPhone a wide angled lens uh, see how well it does here Here I am at a location near Surrey Keys. Um, we've got Canary Wharf in the distance. So we're in South London, but literally across the river is East London, Canary Wharf area. Um, I'm gonna take some shots from here. Um, I hope you guys can see my phone and my settings. So the first actual shot I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shoot raw, um, night mode, it's on one second, I'm actually gonna turn that off. So night mode's turned off, flash is off. It's just the phone, the normal lens. So next shot, so I'm thinking the longer you shoot, the better. You just gotta hold your hand steady for that length of time. Go back to that medium lens, hope you guys can see that from here. Nice. I'm still near the Shard, I'm just underneath London Bridge. And I'm gonna try and get a few shots from here, like literally this angle with the Shard there and this stairwell. So it's 
still in this area I don't know if you guys can see this spider web here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get a macro shot of that spider web see how well the macro camera comes out so shard behind it spider webs the spider webs are all here but the great thing is there's light there so hopefully that will work in our favor all right let's try a macro shot So guys, I'm, st I'm still in London Bridge and I want to talk about this long exposure shooting. So, you can only shoot long exposure if you're live, but if you're live, you, can you can't shoot raw and you can't shoot night mode. So I think the best thing to do is to lock in the exposure. So I hope you guys can see my screen. So lock in a focus point and then you can increase the exposure. So when a bunch of car comes, car, cars come by, I'm gonna try and shoot that. So yes guys, thanks for watching. Um, these are just a few of the images that I took on the night, but I wanted to say that I think this phone is great. The camera on this phone is great during the daytime um, and it's okay at blue hour, but when it gets really dark and in low light, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I actually missed having my camera with me so I could have taken some shots because I saw some nice sights. But overall, I think the camera is great during the day. It's okay at blue hour, but it's not for me at night. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!